The man in charge of the North Carolina DMV is being questioned today about the ongoing delays. Hundreds of thousands of people have experienced those delays or are experiencing them right now. It's an issue we've been following for years. And WRL's Sean Gallagher first brought you the story of the delays last month and joins us now from the legislative building. And Sean, what have we learned about this debacle? Yeah, Jeff, well, this meeting just ended here behind me, but it's largely been a morning of back and forth between the heads of the DMV and the manufacturer of these delays about what led to the delays going from roughly two weeks up to eight weeks or more. And is this because of a DMV glitch or a mix up that the manufacturer simply couldn't handle? Now, DMV Commissioner Wayne Goodwin explained a February glitch allowed more than 2000 people to request a license that should not have been able to. And when the DMV caught the issue, they notified the manufacturer manufacturer who halted production. But this stop caused a ripple effect, delaying more than 354,000 IDs and licenses from being sent out. But now for the first time, we're hearing more about what this glitch looked like and how the DMV responded. It allowed folks who should have been prevented from renewing because they couldn't have a photo more than 16 years old. You know, when you're online, you can alternate between in-person and online. We halted the production on the 20th, then had to go through and continue printing those to get them all the way through to then manually pull the credentials as per our instruction from the DMV. And that halt in production lasted 10 days while they manually pulled those improper IDs out without production starting again until March 4th. But we've learned by the end of this month that manufacturer should be able to complete the backlog. And the DMV says that they're switching to a new manufacturer beginning in July. At the Legislative Building, Sean Gallagher, WRAL News.